Hello, my name is Terry White, Worldwide Design and Photography Evangelist for Adobe, and it's my pleasure to give you a first look at a technology preview for InDesign CC for 2015 that allows you to publish your InDesign documents online. Now, of course, you might think, well, can I do that with a PDF? And yes, you can put a PDF on your website, you can email one out, but the experience isn't quite what it could be now in 2015. When you think about a PDF, the structure's great, everything's great, universal readability, but you don't get any of that pizzazz. You don't get the ability to really see an interactive document inside PDF the way you could now on the web. Now, this does not replace the need for Adobe Muse or Dreamweaver for designing a website. This is more about the document and giving your users a fantastic experience to be able to view and navigate your documents online. So let's take a look at how it works. First and foremost, with InDesign CC for 2015, just like the other applications, if there's a technology preview, it will be located in the preferences. And it is on by default, but of course, if you don't want this feature, you can always turn it off. Now, once you uh, know that that feature is there, let's take a look at this document before we actually try it out. Now this document has all kinds of interactivity in it. It has these uh, panels that fly in. Uh, as a matter of fact, this entire first page here has a very, very wide panographic image that pans the page. I went a little too far there. And if we scroll down, we'll see that we have uh, all kinds of things going on here where we have animations. These are actually movies that were placed and they slide in. So this is all done with the animation panel now in InDesign CC for 2015. And these animations are HTML5 based now so that you don't have to use Flash to uh, convey the animations over to the web. Okay, so now again, you just design your document using whatever InDesign features you want, including the ability to have buttons, links, animations, pop-ups, things like that. And then once you're done designing your perfect document, then you would just simply go up to your file menu and you would choose the new publish online option. Once I choose publish online, it gives me an export. It's pretty much just like uh, the, the PDF export. I can choose general, um, I can give it a file name, I can tell it which pages to do, I can do pages versus spreads, I can go to advanced and I can do cover thumbnails and quality options and so forth and so on. Now, once I click OK, what that will do is then begin the process of converting and uploading and preparing this document to be published online. Once it's done, it will actually give me uh, a URL that I can share with anyone. And that's the beauty of it. No matter what device they're on, they can view my document, see my animations, navigate my content, and I didn't have to do anything on the web. I didn't have to touch my existing website. I can, of course, put that link on my existing website, but I didn't have to make a website to be able to share this document. And that's the beauty of it. So we're not doing web design. We're not building web pages. We're building documents and sharing them online and publishing them with this new technology preview. Okay, so there's my URL. I can also share it socially on, uh, on Facebook, but I'm just gonna go ahead and copy it do a copy there we'll close it and now let's head over to the web browser and take a look so let's uh, let's take a look and paste that uh, URL in and here comes my document now um, one of the things that's loading is that initial page with some animations on it and then it will allow us to navigate uh, to the rest of the pages and see what's going on so there's the opening five days from nowhere and then here comes that panning photo that I just showed you earlier. Here come the boxes flying in. And those boxes are rollovers, by the way, all built with InDesign. So these all allow me to navigate my document. So if I click here, where the journey begins, it will take me to the next page in the document and show me where the journey begins, complete with animations for my text and images and videos. So I can play this video, which this particular one has no sound. It's just kind of panning the street, so it looks like Nepal, maybe. And this one actually has sound. 
And these videos were just placed inside InDesign, just like you would place videos any other way. And now if we uh, want, we can navigate to our uh, next page by either navigating uh, with a click or we can uh, use any of the buttons to get there. So we can navigate our way around based on how this particular structure is set up. And again, this is all built with InDesign using the features inside InDesign that give me the ability to create this interactive look and feel in ways that I never could have imagined before because again, I would have had to have been an expert in web design to do this in the past. So as I navigate my document here, I can see uh, other images and other pages and this kind of panning image thing is pretty cool. I gotta start doing that on some of my InDesign documents. I can play a video here. I can read the text. I can do whatever I want. And again, this is designed to work on any device. Of course, small screens might be an issue for uh, documents depending on the setup that you did, but this would work on a phone, tablet, or of course your desktop computer. All right, so I can play the video. That's kind of a cool rollover effect there, and the video will play. I can, of course, go to the next page, and on this page, I see where they've got a nice pop-up, and I can pop up or pop down the sliding panel. And I think they've got the same thing over here. Where I've got a sliding panel. Yeah, we were talking up. about altitude, but obviously yeah. we're not any, we're not at high altitude. Yeah, and we're like no. a video that was on autoplay, which I don't recommend. But here we are, just the ability to do this is so cool, to be able to do this from InDesign now and have a way of getting these interactive documents on the web using the new Publish Online feature, Technology Preview of InDesign CC for 2015. I invite you to check it out. You can do it with any of your existing InDesign documents. Go in and add some interactivity and then share those documents in the ways that you always wished you could. Take care and I'll catch you on the next one.